Hey guys, it's Lo, and I'm so excited to show you this beautiful melty look created with Kinra Professional's new Sunrise Collection. I'm in love with these tones because they really bring out a soft, vibrant scene that's naturally in the skin. And this look is so soft and wearable. I'm really excited to show you how we can create this look on a really overly highlighted blonde. Let's get started. For our transformation here, I'm gonna do classic sectioning in four quadrants, and then we're gonna go in with the shadow root first. I'm gonna approach this look by adding a teardrop shape shadow root with a 6GG. We're gonna outline the whole perimeter of each quadrant section with a half inch to an inch root of the 6GG. And then working from bottom to top, we're gonna take quarter of an inch subsections and do a half inch to an inch root. This is gonna make our blend look so natural. And since she already has golden tones in her hair, adding the additional 6GG tone to her root is just gonna richen that and add more depth. I'm so happy that golds are coming back on trend. Golds are my favorite tones and add so much luster and shine and vibrancy to any look. So now I'm just gonna lightly comb in each section just to keep my quadrants separate as I continue to work. I'm gonna do the same approach on the other side of the back quadrant. I also love shadow rooting this way because it makes my work so much neater and concise, which I'm definitely a fan of. So instead of going at a horizontal this way, I'm gonna come at a diagonal moving back. Now I'm getting closer to the hairline, so I'm just gonna be mindful with where my brush hits. And before I get too close to the hairline, I'm just gonna drop out that section around the face. So I love the porosity spray because in cases like this where you're working tones into a raw hair fabric, the porosity equalizer is amazing. It just dampens the cuticle and fills it with everything it needs to help control how evenly the color gets distributed into the hair, which is so amazing. So in this case, you can see how her hair is really taking the root cover or the shadow root. So I'm just gonna dampen it before I go any further and then start to comb that product through. It also smells so good. Okay, so I'm continuing to work the porosity spray through all the sections. Now that I've blended out the root, I really wanna add some slight dimension. So I, I took my 6GG and then I added 50% of my 9cc formula for the low light. That way it's an in-between tone between her root and her lightest tone. So because I mixed together two of the formulas, we're gonna end up having around a seven, level seven gold copper low light. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a heavy weave of that and then we'll fill in the rest with the 9cc. And I'm gonna apply this right over the shadow root so that I start to melt these colors together. I'm so glad that I've pre-treated the hair with the porosity equalizer because it's just gonna make it so easy. I'm gonna stay with these V type sections because I really like the softness that I get from using diagonals. I'm gonna use this as an interior anchor and I'm gonna keep this outer piece light. So we're gonna go in with the seven here and apply it right over the shadow root. We're just gonna keep staggering these colors so that it looks super dimensional, but very, very soft. And this top crown, I wanna really see a soft blend. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb through the shadow root and then do the nine CC in this top back corner. 
This is gonna create a, just a really pretty dimensional lighter veil of color that's gonna drape over the entire back. I love how you can already see the color processing. This is such a fun way to customize your blondes in any direction, whether it's warm golds like the Sunrise Collection or any of the other beautiful demis in the Kinra Collection. It's just super fun and a very easy way to offer a nice color change per season without putting permanent color in the hair. Okay, now we're ready to add some tonality to the front. So in this front placement, I really want it to be 9cc heavy. I want her to feel like really romantic and have this just beautiful flood of vibrant, coppery, buttery tones right around her face. I'm gonna take this top portion of the front section, I'm just gonna put it aside for now. I'm gonna split this front money piece section at the temple so I can have a little bit easier time applying. And instead of doing brick laid, I'm just gonna ombre it, taking my seven at the transition, and then the nine all the way through the front of each section. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm blending and combing as I work. Now that I'm on the top section, I'm gonna do just a little bit of blending with my seven throughout the whole side of her head, just to make sure those colors work together. I want it to make sense. So I'm just going to layer the nine again. Here's the seven, I'm just bringing it through the whole side of her crown. I'm just going to bring those two colors together without disrupting like the back quadrants. I'm going to now reposition the money piece area. This is gonna be so beautiful. I'm so happy we didn't add so much darkness around her hairline. beautiful rush of color. That soft nine copper copper. So pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and copy our pattern on the other side. I would like her to process an average about 15 to 25 minutes so that this completely oxidizes and creates that reflection and luminosity that I'm looking for. I'm so happy with these results. Our goal was to create a very soft blend full of luster, shine, and copper tonality. Please tag Kinra Professional and myself in your results. I would love to see what you create with the beautiful Sunrise Collection. Thank you.